Sidar Bembu, founder and CEO of Zoho. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economic Middle East. It's great to have you with us. Now, why did you choose Saudi Arabia to open your first Middle Eastern data centers? How does a local data center help contribute to Vision 2030? And what advantages does it have compared to remote centers, except for being within the kingdom's geographical boundaries? So we, our strategy is to get closer to the customer and abide by local laws, privacy. Huge, we put huge premium on privacy, data security, all of that. And with the kingdom adopting uh, laws on this, it's very timely that we have the data center here. And in fact, uh, we announced it last year in LEAP. We have already done it. It's available, it's ready to go. So we are very proud of that. And now customers, both private sector and public sector, can confidently do business with us, knowing that the data is here, subject to all the local regulations, all of that. That's why we are here. And we are also, uh, our data center strategy now, throughout the Middle East, we are doing it. Other uh, nations also will follow suit over time. So that's, uh, again, the same reasons, privacy, regulatory compliance, all of that. And you have some serious investment here in the kingdom, a total of 500 million Saudi rials, focusing on digital infrastructure, development, strategic partnerships. Over what time frame can we expect these investments to roll out? It will be over the next three to five years. In fact, uh, uh, given our growth rates right now we are experiencing, I believe it will happen faster than we predicted originally because we are seeing tremendous growth. In fact, last... Uh, Five years, our compound annual growth is 58%, which in, in Saudi Arabia. In, uh, so that's something that we are uh, we expect that to continue, particularly with the new data center here. So that's why I think we'll accelerate our investment to support it, including hiring local staff, training, and uh, expanding our solutions, consulting all of that here, offerings, all of that we are planning to do here. And have you identified the different sectors where the investments will be carried out? Primarily, a uh, lot of our investment goes into creating and nurturing local talent. For example, creating uh, custom solutions for customers here, playing a part in our technology, whole overall technology offering, all of that is one. And then, of course, support here. And uh, marketing content, content creation is another area. And then operating our, our data centers, that also creates jobs. So all of these categories. And in your own words, could you take us through the journey of Zoho from inception till date, please? So we were founded uh, way back in 1995, early 96, late 95, 96, and uh, bootstrapped. It just started with like a, two PCs and a room small, <laughs> as small as this. And we started writing code back at home. And now it's a billion dollar company with uh, 16,000 employees and still growing. What is interesting about our culture is how deeply committed to R&D we are, deeply committed to privacy, taking care of our employees and customers as well. So those are all of our value system. We retain our employees long term, we retain our customers long term. That's what has fueled our growth. And um, do you have any plans to enter other Middle Eastern countries? Many companies, local, international, are setting up data centers in the United Arab Emirates. Any plans? Yes. We are, we are definitely planning. We already have an office in Dubai and we are expanding into Abu Dhabi. We are planning a data center in UAE also that's actually currently in the works. It will follow soon.